All right, now let's talk a little bit more about the outside zone read. Here I have it drawn up versus a 4-2-5 defense, okay? Now, we have our lead back. Remember our rules we just talked about? Edge to stack. I'm outside, I'm the lead back. I have an edge player. There's mine. Tackle. I've got a five technique. These two would be working together. We call that an ace. These two are here. If the guard and tackle are working together, that would be a deuce. If a tackle and a tight end are working together, that's a tray. Right here, we're in an A situation, so we're going to have these two are responsible for these two. Okay, so now on the back side, we're fast zoning. These guys are going to scoop. These two are responsible for these two because we're going to be blocking the back side in. This is just our basic way of running the outside zone. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the backside reads, okay? Here we have what we just call read. When we say read, that means that we're going to be uh, reading the first man on or outside of our backside tackle. And really, when you, when you think about this play, there is no real backside to it. There's the play side and the read side. And when we teach this to our kids, that's what we talk about. The, are you on the play side or are you on the read side? We don't ever want our linemen to feel like, well, the play is going to go away because they're going to get very surprised when they realize that the quarterback keeps this ball about 30% of the time. So our read right here, these two are working to these two, and they understand they are blocking this. They are blocking this for the read side. This is the play side, this is the read side. So as we work this backside cage right here, these two guys are going to climb. Now, most people, there's two ways to play it on this structure. Most people will run the end and try to work the linebacker backside. Okay, that's one way. The other thing they'll do, they'll squat the end and they'll try to run the linebacker. One thing that you will find out, people will have one way to play it. You have to understand, in this offense, we are going to be multiple, multiple formations, we're going to use shifts and motions, and we're going to be running uh, all kinds of uh, offensive sets, looks, shifts, motions, and replays. You're not going to come into the game with six ways to take away zone read on the backside. So, usually we get into a game and we're going to see, if you're going to run these guys fast and try to squat the linebacker, okay, we feel like this is a great play. One thing that we can do, we can hinge this on the back side. If they're trying to run these guys and squat him, then what we will do, we will make a trash call. When we say trash, the quarterback is telling the lineman, hey, back here on the read side, it looks trashy. I don't want to keep the ball. Maybe they've dropped a safety down and we don't like the numbers. Or maybe they've been playing the linebacker back and it's just not a good matchup for the quarterback. So all he would do, we would have called this play. He would have walked up, he looks at the backside, he'd be trash, trash. When they hear that, they know they are now responsible for the down lineman and they don't care about the linebacker. So if they're trying to run these guys and fit him back, we hinge, we hinge, he stands there as we run the outside zone. We have split a two linebacker box. Now, let's go conversely. Let's say that they're going to run the linebacker and try to sit him. Okay. Well, now what we will do, we can still go read if we can get to the linebacker. If the linebacker is really flying out, then we have some other things we can do to him. 